Yeah, I, just to, to add to that, I mean, if, if I look back at the history of, of mindset, um, what we call family three, which are the really long acting drugs that we think uh, the long acting psilocybin analogs that could, could uh, potentially work well for microdosing, um, it, that those that family um, came probably six months or so or eight months or so after um, we, we, we first started working or first filed, first started doing synthesis work and some preliminary in vitro work on, on families one and two. So like Joe said, we're data driven and we're in a continuous feedback loop here where we're applying what we're learning in terms of structure activity relationship, how these compounds behave, uh, you know, in, in, in vitro and in vivo and we're feeding that back in, into into further designs. You know, we know what we're really good at, which is designing and, and qualifying, you know, new new drugs. And and we're going to keep keep focusing on that because I really think psychedelic medicine is in its infancy. The first generation drugs are amazing, but we really view those as being kind of a an intermediate step in in getting to the, the, the personalized psychedelic drugs that we see as kind of the end goal of, of, of all of this, which is, uh, you know, a, a future where, um, where there'll be, you know, a, a wide range of different approved psychedelic medications for a, a wide range of different indications. And the goal is to try to get to as many safe, effective drugs as possible that can work for the widest range of different people. I love it. Yeah.